the 2021 Ford Escape Titanium. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at La MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, where you can find some of the best uh, walk-around videos on our different Ford vehicles specific to the model and trim. So just like with this one, uh, we are gonna cover just the titanium trim for the 21 Ford Escape. We're gonna cover all the standard equipment, different packages, and standalone options. So they're very thorough videos. Uh, so check the timestamp down below. We are gonna break that out as we go through this video. Uh, so that way you can move around in the video and you're gonna see prices as well as the timelines for the different uh, packages available and the standalone options. We call them a complete guide uh, walk arounds for a reason. So we're gonna be very specific and cover everything in this video. So if you like those types of videos, hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe over to our channel, hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. And by the way, do we do free shipping as well? So if you watch this video and decide, hey, I want that dealership needs to, knows a little bit about these vehicles, you can have one of our vehicles from our dealership uh, delivered to you for free. Or if you want one specifically ordered, we can take care of that for you as well. So more information about free shipping is going to be at the end of the video. Timestamp for that as well is going to be down there in the description. So check that out. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I want to start with some mechanical features. There's two engines available for the titanium trim. So let's discuss those. Now first let's talk about some of the engines that are available. This is available two different engines for the titanium trim. You can, it's available in either as a gas motor or the hybrid. Now if you go with the hybrid, you can have either front wheel drive or all wheel drive with that hybrid engine. So it's a 2.5 liter uh, hybrid engine with the eCVT transmission, that continuous variable transmission uh, to get to the best fuel economy in the vehicle. So a hybrid engine is a great way to go if you want to be a fuel efficient SUV, you can go that route. And what's great is you can get it in either front wheel drive or all wheel drive. Now you also do have the option for the 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine. Now the other engine is available in only all wheel drive, not available in the front wheel drive because it has so much torque behind it. It needs that all wheel drive system. So it gets plenty of power as you can see on the screen there. Uh, so pretty good uh, either way you go, either way you look at those. A 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine will come with the eight speed automatic transmission with auto start stop technology, which means you come up to the stoplight stop sign, it's gonna shut the vehicle off. Uh, and then when you let go of the brake, it's gonna turn it back on. So similar to what the hybrid does as well uh, for that. And is that something if you're driving that, uh, that EcoBoost engine you don't like, there's a little A with a circle around it. You just press that, it deactivates that auto start stop for that engine cycle. So real easy to get to, it's just located right there. You can just press that button, so not a big deal. Also, this one does have electronic brake uh, control. So ele electric parking brake, I should say, with auto hold system. So auto hold means you know, just hold that brake when you press that button and it's located right there, right by the auto start stop button. Press that, it's gonna hold the brake. If you're at a stoplight for a long period of time, wanna rest your foot, you can press that and it releases that. So that way, as soon as you press the gas, it's gonna go. You don't have to worry about it, so it presses that brake. So that's pretty nice. Also, you do have selectable drive modes. So you uh, another button right there in front of the console. That little snowflake is there and an the eco uh, icon is right there. You press that several different drive modes. You have a normal, you have an eco, you have a sport mode, you have a slippery mode, several different drive modes at your convenience there, uh, especially with the all wheel drive system will come in real handy for you, uh, giving you those different drive modes uh, on the vehicle. So uh, some great, uh, uh, also does have your traction control too. And there's a button there you can deactivate your traction control. Uh, so you do have a lot, uh, traction control with the vehicle too. Now this does have advanced track with roll stability control. The, you know, has the curve control goes along with that. It does have your e-pass. Uh, it does also have your, AB, your ABS. So that way it uses all those different systems in the vehicle to keep you on your intended path. Uh, so even those slick driving roads, you go into the curves too fast, it'll help break the system uh, real quickly to keep you on your, your intended path. So real nice and also does have help you with any kind of rolling over of the vehicle and such like that. So real nice how that works. Of course, the e-pass does help you uh, when you're you know, going a little bit faster, stiffens that up. So that way you can't you know, real, turn it real easy when you're going real fast, but when you're slower, it's gonna make that steering wheel a little bit easier to turn. So elect, uh, elect, uh, the electronic passive or power assist steering uh, goes along with that. So, uh, so those are some great features to have. Of course, some other safety features that are gonna come with the vehicle. You will have SOS post crash alert system that honk the horns, flashes the lights if you're in an accident. Also, this that will come with pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. Uh, the way that works is if you know you're, someone's going much slower than you, you're coming up behind them and, they, and you're not paying attention, not braking, it's gonna use a series of tones and lights that you need to brake and it pre, uh, powers those brakes so that way it's ready to go so when you hit the brake you're going to stop even faster uh, and so that's a great way to be able to, to kind of keep you um, from being 
rear-ending somebody, hitting somebody like that, so it really helps you avoid those. Also does have post-collision braking as well. So that means if you're in an accident, maybe you forget to put it in park, or you're not able to hit the brake when you collide with somebody, you're unconscious or something, it'll actually brake for you, so that way you don't go wandering off into more traffic and having a more severe accident that way. So some great uh, safety features that go along with all those. When you go up to titanium tram, you're also getting the evasive steering assist as well standard equipment on them. So evasive steering assist, just to, you know, if you can't avoid that accident and you need to turn real sharply, it's gonna assist in turning the steering wheel. It still is out your control. So even if you, you know, go to steer that, you can steer back. So it's not taking over the steering, it's just assisting and helping you steer quickly uh, out of the way from that. So it's gonna be more uh, kind of enhanced, uh, enhanced steering system that way. So you can uh, do that. So also this will come with an active Park Assist 2.0 standard equipment on the titanium trams. So that means there's sensors on the sides as well as on the front and the back. So that way you can help you parallel park your vehicle, even perpendicular park your vehicle, reverse and park out. So it's a great system. I actually did a video on this system. I'll try to link that in that video down in the description as well. Uh, so you can uh, check that video out if you know how that system works and how to do it when you get your escape, but it's gonna come with that as well. So a lot of great features that are standard equipment, a lot of mechanical and safety features there, but let's go ahead and move this turntable around. Let's start talking about the design and the look on the front of the vehicle. Now, as we move to the front of this, I do wanna point out one thing. Now, this does have an upgraded package that we're gonna talk about later in the video. So I am gonna show you some clips from Ford's website, what the standard grill is gonna look like. Uh, Cause this package is in the, has the a little different grill look to it. So it is normally will yeah, have a black grill with a chrome surround around the outside. This one does have the silver bars in the middle. That is actually available as part of that package we're gonna talk about later that's optional equipment for you. So uh, you're gonna have the, the black grill with the chrome surround. This is gonna be standard equipment. Also, let's talk about these headlights. It is LED a reflector headlight. So LED headlights, they're automatic feature, means they come on automatic when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light, when you have an auto setting. And I do like the headlights on these. If you happen to turn those headlights on and leave them on when you get out of your vehicle, as soon as you get out and, un and, and leave the vehicle, it's gonna kick that over to the auto setting. So when you click on and turn that on, you're gonna see that go straight to the auto. So that way, those headlights will come on if you're not thinking it's quite dark enough it's gonna let you know that. So I like how that, that, those headlights work. LED signature lighting, that light goes right underneath those headlights. So that's also gonna be standard equipment on these. It will have configurable LED uh, headlights as well. So you can configure those daytime running lights, I should say, uh, for the vehicle. And you'll have LED fog lights down here as well. So full LEDs on the front here. And you also have auto high beams as standard equipment too on this vehicle, which means just like your automatic headlights, if it's real dark outside, you're in a dark alley street, highway, there's no one approaching you, it'll turn those high beams on. If someone approaches you in the city lights, it'll shut them off. So auto high beams is one of those features you can uh, activate and deactivate in your lighting section along with some other features. Uh, so you can just go in your vehicle settings and you can find those lighting sex, uh, settings and you can activate and deactivate those too. And then your headlights are also wiper activated. So if it's raining outside, you turn your wipers on, headlights will come on as well for you too. Uh, down here, you can see a silver skid plate down in the bottom part of that. It's kind of part of the titanium trim. You also have active grill shutters, so they're gonna open and close that wheel. So you don't have to, anything you have to do on your hand, they're just gonna open uh, when they need more air flowing in, like sh slower speeds in town, that kind of thing. But on the highway, it's gonna shut those up because you have enough air coming underneath to cool that engine off. Uh, and give you a little bit better aerodynamics on the highway there. So uh, that's, of course, you see the front sensing system up here. It's really for that, you know, being able to use the park assist, but because it does have the front sensors, it also alerts you as you're coming into driveways and such like that too uh, at the front of the vehicle. So uh, some great features here on the front. Let's go ahead and move uh, this turntable around to the side on the driver's side over there so we can show you some of the features on the side. Now as we move around to the side, there is another uh, thing here on the side that's a uh, part of the package that we added on this particular vehicle. So I'm gonna show you a picture of the standard wheel, and that is a 19 inch machine faced alloy wheel with a dark tarnished painted pockets. So same size as this wheel here, um, but a little bit different look to it. And this is again, part of the titanium elite package. We'll talk about this package just a little bit. So a couple exterior features that are a little different than what's stock on these. Also, you will get all season tires, standard equipment, as well as you'll get a four wheel disc brake uh, too. And then tire pressure monitoring system goes along with those tires, standard equipment. You will see the molding over here on the, around the wheel, wheel, wheel lip. 
as well as down here on the lower rocker molding. Uh, that's more of that molded in black finish. Uh, you'll also see it at the bottom of the mirrors here too. That just helps protect it from rocks getting chipped up. You know, SUV sits a little taller than the cars do. So having that like that, so that way if any rocks come up, then you can actually, you know, they're not gonna chip the paint on the doors and on the top of the mirrors. Now the mirror cap here is a, a body color mirror cap on the top, in this case, the Oxford White. It uh, does have your power heated mirrors, uh, so that comes in real handy. Defrost that mirrors off when you have the defrost on. Also does have the Bliss mirror, so that's a blind spot information system with cross check alert. So the way that works is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna alert you by putting lighting up those two cars in the corner of that mirror unless you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. If you're backing up, it uses those same sensors. So if someone's gonna cross your path behind you, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna put a light in the corner of the mirror from the side they're coming from, puts a message on the dash so it's not safe for you to turn or back up in a series of tones as well. So that way you know. So a lot of times you're gonna hear those tones go off. You're not gonna know what's going on because half the time they're already by you by the time uh, you're backing up, but it's a nice safety precaution. Uh, so that way you don't back up. I've had that happen to me a couple times where I'm backing up and the car's just going really fast in a, sh you know, a shopping mall or something like that. Uh, and it's kind of gone off and I haven't seen anybody and then eventually I will see them going for, uh, a little bit further away. So uh, that's a nice safety feature to have on this. Also body color door handles here as you can see and look at the, uh, the chrome accent around the window. So it's gonna chrome belt line molding as well as an outside of the window too. So real nice upscaled chrome look here to it. You will have the, br uh, the black roof rack side rails up here, standard equipment on these too. Uh, and then you will get the intelligent access. That allows you to leave that key fob in your pocket. And in fact, the key fob looks a little different on the titanium trim uh, because of the intelligent access. The key is actually in the bottom here. You just press a little button on the back and that key's gonna be located in there just in case it's dead or something like that and you need to, to open the door. You still have that capabilities to where, you know, if this, if this battery dies, whatever, you can still have access or if the battery on the vehicle dies, you'll still get it, be able to get in there, pop the hood and, you know, jump it with somebody's help there. So you just have this key fob here, just put it in your pocket. Uh, you can unlock and lock using a remote from a distance, but once you walk up to the vehicle, you put your hands in the door handle, it's gonna automatically unlock the vehicle, allow you to get in and out. You can set it up to unlock just the driver's door, all the doors really up to your preference and the settings under the, the door features or the lock features, I believe. Uh, so you can uh, program that. When you get out, you just press the ridges on the front doors, it locks the vehicle up for you. You don't have to get the keys out to get, to get in or out or start the vehicle. We'll show you that when you get inside. Also, you do have invisible keypad over here on the door, so you can program your own code. Some people are like, well, why do you need that? Well, if you want to access it and the keys are inside, you can still do that using the keypad. Special code that you can uh, set up, or maybe you want to leave the keys inside, you want to go for a run or something, you don't want to carry your keys with you, you can do that, put them on the console, whatever, lock the vehicle up using your own uh, special code, and then use that code to unlock the vehicle. So keep that in mind, that's a great, uh, other fe uh, great feature to have. Privacy glass in these back windows, as well as the back glass, keeps it cooler for everybody inside. Looks nice on the vehicle as well. And then you have the easy fuel capless fill door. So you just press it towards the back, it opens up, you, easy fuel, no cap to worry about losing, leaving, getting your hands dirty, anything like that. You just uh, put, it, put the nozzle in there and fill it up and you're good to go. And then shut the door when you're done. It does have a double door system, so you don't have to worry about anybody stealing it. It has to have the exact size nozzle too. So if you have, you know, uh, you've run out of gas and you're using a can, that will not be the correct size. You'll need to use the funnel. We'll show you where that's located when we move to the back. Now as we move to the back, it does have a body color rear spoiler back here. Also does have a center high mounted stoplight up here on the spoiler. That's your brake lights. So people know that you're wanting to brake. Rear defrost also does have a rear wiper back here, so you can give that uh, free of any kind of ice and water and such when it's raining. High gloss black pieces here on the side as well, just kind of dresses that, makes it look sharp back here. Here in the back, you do have LED tail lights, so full LEDs, headlights, tail lights, fog lights, so real nice having those. Does have a rear view camera as well as reverse sensing, so as you're backing up, you can see as you're backing up, plus it alerts you if you get close to anything. So. Full sensing system that goes along with this just makes it a lot easier. Uh, just kind of a, a you know another another great benefit of having that Park Assist 2.0 is getting the sensing system as well that goes along with that. Rear skid plate down here, so silver painted, does have the dual exhaust with the chrome tips as well, so that just looks real sharp on the vehicle. We do have power lift gate. We can use the remote if we want to. You can use the button right there to unlock it as well, just like intelligent access. So even with the vehicle locked, which I do have this unlocked. Uh, then it'll do that, or you can use your foot. It's foot-activated uh, hands-free liftgate, so we can just give it a kick, 
and it opens it up. I have noticed, don't want to put your foot too far under there. Uh, I've been chewing that a couple times here and it hasn't been opening. So just give it a kick, just get your foot underneath that bumper and it's going to open up just like this. Now you can uh, adjust this wherever you want it to stop and then press and hold this button. So if you're a little bit shorter and can't reach it all the way up, clear up, uh, then you may want to bring it down a little bit and then go ahead and press and hold that button and it'll stop in that location the next time. So just keep that in mind. Also in here, you're gonna get uh, floor mats for the front as well as the second row uh, foot wheels. Put those right there. So you're gonna get carpeted mats or standard equipment. I always forget to about talking about the carpeted mats, so I like to have them back in the rear cargo area for me. Back here, you can see it is carpeted on this floor. Uh, Matt here, you do see on also the seat backs are carpeted as well. Now those seat backs right now I have them even, but I'm going to show you a clip where one of them is actually reclined back and one's in the upright position. So you can see that they can recline back for those in the second row to kind of have a, a more leisurely ride in the vehicle that way. Also you'll see on that you do have the tether system. So you do have this latch system, lower anchors and tethers for children that you can secure those seat belts, those uh, car seats in there, whether it be a rear facing or front facing. But if you do have a front facing, you can, uh, of course, strap that in back there, uh, that strap back there, and secure it back against that seat real tight using those, uh, those little latches on the back of the seats back here. Do you have a uh, 110 outlet, back, or a PowerPoint, I should say, back here? Not a 110 outlet, sorry. <laughs> PowerPoint back here, so you can plug some things in with that. Also, you'll see this here, it has a little flooring here. You can pull that out. Right now, it's completely flat. And one of the things you'll notice, if you lay that seat down, I'm showing you a clip right now, if I lay that down, there is like a little bit of a lift there. So if you put something in there, you'd have to try to lift it up and onto that seat. But if you pull this out here and put it on top of these little uh, sets, these uh, little uh, footholds there, you'll see now it gives you more of an elevated. So now if we look at that clip that I'm showing you, it'll, it could slide right in, in and over those seats. So that's the benefit of having that. A lot of people leave it there and not realize there's a second setting. Now look underneath here, you do have a cargo management system in here. So you can, a lot of open slots to put things in, your funnels back there towards the back. Uh, so you'd need that if you have a, if you, you know, your vehicle runs out of gas and you need to fill it up. Uh, then you will also see in here, this is the tire sealant and inflator kit. That's what's standard equipment on all trims of the titanium, or all trims of the Escape, I should say. Uh, and, and then, but there is an option for a spare. So we'll talk about that when we get to optional equipment. It is a standalone option. It's not a standalone option to get the uh, a spare tire. Uh, so you'll have to get it as an optional equipment. We'll talk more about that when we get to optional equipment though. Now moving to the interior, there's a couple different color interiors that you're going to have in your uh, vehicle standard equipment. One of them is your ebony interior. So ebony interior, of course, everything in the environment is going to be ebony. Your top part as well as the lower part of your dash, doors are going to be ebony. Uh, your seats are going to be ebony. Con center console, armrest is all going to be ebony interior. Your headliner though will be the dune interior like you're seeing or dune color like you're seeing with this particular vehicle. Or you can go to the dune color, which is going to give you a little bit of more of a two-tone. So the upper part of your dash and doors will be the ebony as well as your center console. But the lower part of the dash will be that dune. And the front seat uh, covers will also be dune as well. And then the headliner will be dune. So two different color options for you. Either one of those, you're going to actually, it's going to look a little different than this one because this is the upgraded Elite package we talked about earlier, that we're going to talk about later. But normally you have an anode gray across the dash and on the doors. Showing you a clip of Ford's website so you can see what that it's going to look like in the vehicle, whether you go with the dune or your ebony interior there. Your seats are going to be an ActiveX seats for these. Now, the sport contoured ActiveX seats, a uh, little bit different than what you'd probably uh, expect. A lot of people ask, are they leather or what are they? They're not vinyl. They're not leather. They're kind of just a very, uh, for those lifestyle that, you know, you know you're going to eat in the vehicle, you're going to drink in the vehicle, you might get stuff on the seats. They're going to be, they're going to clean a lot easier. I do have a vehicle with ActiveX as well as a vehicle with leather, and I can't uh, really tell too much of the difference between the two. I feel like the ActiveX seats feel real good. They're comfortable, uh, and they're going to be a lot easier to clean than the leather seat will be. And there is a leather seat option we'll talk about as part of that Elite package, which this vehicle happens to have in it. Now let's talk about the seats here. Uh, front heated seats are going to be standard equipment on this. Also, you have a 10-way power driver seat over here and a six-way power passenger seat. So the difference between that is your driver does have a power recline, also does have uh, where you can tilt the, the back as well as the front part of the seat up and down. So it's a little bit different. You get those extra couple settings there as well as you do have your power lumbar over here. 
Um, also with this, uh, don't forget, I forgot to mention, I was going to mention that earlier, is the airbags in this. So you do have dual stage front airbag that deploys a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Uh, so you do get a driver knee airbag as well that deploys down from a front, uh, any front collision. Also you do have side impact airbags that comes out of the side of these seats that deploys from any side impact that hits that B pillar there. And then you do have the safety canopy airbags as well with the rollover sensor. So if you're gonna, you know, ends up rolling over, it's gonna deploy those airbags, protect you from any breaking glass on the side for those in the front as well as the rear seat. So I'm gonna make sure I cover that. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of this interior features. Also back in the back seat, 60-40 split bench seat. So what's great about that is I showed you how those seats can recline back, but also they can slide forward and back on the escape so lots of leg room when you slide it completely back so i'm showing you some clips of that seat one clear forward and one clear back that 60 percent side is clear back so you can see how much more room you get from what's standard on there so levers on the front of those so you can slide those forward and back you have an armrest that comes out of that middle backrest back there so cup holders so that way you can you know those in the if there's nobody sitting in the middle there you can re relax with that um, also, this does have, I mentioned the latch system already, the lower anchors and tethers for children. I showed you where those, those uh, little uh, harnesses are and those little latches in the seats there themselves. But also child safety locks in those doors too. So you can lock those doors out so that kids can't open those as well. Uh, it, uh, that's a nice convenient feature to have. On the back of the console, you'll see two vents at the top. So it keeps us, uh, some of the AC going back as well as at the bottom. You're going to see uh, two USB ports, a USB type A and a USB type C back there. Here on the door, power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one touch up and down for all four of the windows, which means if you just uh, hard press it down, the window's gonna go down, you don't have to hold it. It's gonna do it automatically as well as coming up. You do a hard press up, you let go, and it's gonna bring that, the window up as well. It does that for all four of the windows. Also, you do have driver memory for three different drivers. It memorizes the mirror setting as well as your seat setting uh, for three different drivers, which is a nice convenient feature to have. The steering wheel, it's a leather wrap steering wheel. It's also heated, so heated steering wheel and heated seats. It does have a uh, tilt and telescoping steering wheel, so it'll go up and down, forward and back, so you can get it just right. So it's a manual adjustment, just to pull that lever on the left side over there. Now let's talk about a couple different features here, okay? So one of uh, these two levers over here, of course, the one on the left is gonna be your turn signal up and down, but on the end is a button that activates and deactivates your lane keeping system. So this comes standard with lane keeping system. So what's great about that is you have a driver alert system. You also do have a lane keeping aid and alert system. So the, the, aid, the alert system is gonna let you leave your lane, but it'll vibrate the steering wheel when you leave your lane. The aid system will actually help keep you in your lane. So it'll use torque vector when you get close to those lines, it'll bring you back in and keep you in your lane. And you can have it on both, so that way, just in case you get close to those lines, it's still gonna vibrate it, but it'll still try to keep you in your lane. Now, this lever over here on the right is your wiper, so you know, up and down is your normal wiper settings, but if you leave it in that first setting up, uh, and then adjust this uh, little knob over here this, uh, that, that turns. That is your rain sensing wipers. Standard equipment on the titanium trim, so that way it'll turn those wipers on when it needs to. Uh, as it needs them to go faster, it'll turn them and adjust them automatically. You don't have to do anything uh, for any of those adjustments. And then over here on the end is where the wiper switch will be for your back wiper. So your rear wiper will be right here on the end. Now here on the steering wheel on the left side at the top is going to be your cruise control buttons. This does have adaptive cruise control as standard equipment on the titanium trim with lane centering. So you do have a button for your lane centering as well as for your distance of the person in front of you. Now adaptive cruise, what that's going to do is it's going to adapt that cruise control so you don't have to press your brake. So if you come up behind somebody uh, going slower than you, it'll slow you down to go their speed until you pass them and it's safe to resume. It'll resume for you. So you don't have to use your brake. It's going to do that, all those adjustments for you. You. Lane centering helps keep you in the center of your lane, which is a real nice feature to have. So it's a little different than the lane keeping works uh, is not activated by your cruise control. Lane centering is activated with your cruise. So it's mainly when you're up on highway speeds and such, and it helps keep you in the center of the lane. So that way you don't get too close to those lines. So you would not use lane keeping system. Instead, use the lane centering system. So I love how that works. Basis steering assist as well, and all those features right there. Now below that, you're going to see your volume controls as well as a mute button uh, right there as well. Over here on the right side, you're going to see at the top are going to be the controls for your 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster. So beautiful looking uh, instrument cluster there uh, that is a digital display, uh, just very impactful, looks great in the vehicle, standard equipment on the titanium trim. 
Now the buttons down below that uh, chrome button there, or chrome accent, is going to be for your uh, making and receiving phone calls. Uh, you just press that for your voice activated commands as well for your climate and your radio and such. And then you can uh, also use those other buttons to um, go through your presetting for your radio uh, without having to use the voice commands if you want to right there. Push button starts located right here, uh, just back, just to the left of your vent over here on your climate. Your climate control is a dual zone auto climate control, so the driver and front passenger can have two different temperatures there. Heated seat buttons are right there, as well as your heated steering wheel. Everything's easy to access right there for your climate control. Now let's talk about this audio system. It's a Beano audio sound system with 10 speakers, including uh, HD radio uh, as well to go along with that. It's going to be a great sound system. It's going to come with AM, FM, MP3 player, Sirius XM satellite radio as well. And then you're going to get the Sync 3 system. Sync 3 uh, with the voice activated commands. So you can make and receive phone calls. You can also uh, tell it to change the climate, different things like that using this command. Actually, climate, I'm not sure if that's on there, but it does have the, uh, you can make a lot of the different adjustments with your radio and such by using the voice commands as well. Backup camera is going to come into view on that uh, eight inch touchscreen as well. Android, Apple, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well, standard equipment on these uh, vehicles. And you're going to also get the Ford Pass Connect allows you to stay connected to your Ford to your Ford, to your Ford vehicle using a Ford Pass app. So you can, you know, schedule remote start times, you can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote uh, you can remote start the vehicle from anywhere, locate your vehicle, a lot of other features with that Ford Pass Connect. So love that system and how that works right there. Also up here in the mirror, you do have auto dimming rear view mirror, so it automatically dims it so the cars can look behind you with those bright lights. It's going to automatically dim the mirror. Overhead console here does have a sunglass bin in there as well as the light switches uh, up here too for these two overhead lights. On the visor, you do have universal garage door openers. You can program three different garage doors to that. Anything with a transmitter will work, gates, that kind of stuff if you live on a farm. Program those in there with those three uh, little buttons up there on the visor there. Love that. Uh, down here in the Media Hub area, you will see a US, uh, two USB ports, USB Type A and Type C, as well as a PowerPoint down in there in a big enough compartment to be able to put your cell phone down in there and maybe even your key or whatever when you get in the vehicle. On the console itself here, we're going to look at this. It does have the rotary dial shifter uh, right there. And behind that, you're going to see that uh, we've talked about a couple of these already, electric parking brake as well as auto hold button located right there. Showed you clips of that earlier. And then the four buttons back here, the one on the left at the top is your drive mode button. Again, showed you that earlier. The one on the right is your active park assist button. So that's where you would activate it, try to find those parking spaces and such, and activate that park, that, yeah, park assist. And then the buttons on the bottom, I already showed you the auto start stop button earlier. That's located to the left at the bottom. And then at the right on the bottom is where you can deactivate your backup sensors. So for some reason you want to deactivate that, maybe you're backing up to a trailer or something like that with the tow package, then you could click that and it would deactivate that. Ambient lighting lights up the cup holders as well as the foot wells uh, in the doors as well. So you can uh, light those up. Uh, that's real nice having a nice ambient light and a lot of people like that environment. And then you have a center console here, padded armrest with a, that opens up and you have plenty of car, little room in there to put some things, uh, smaller items in there as well in the vehicle. I think I've covered everything on the interior. Uh, now I want to talk about a couple packages that are available you might think about getting on the vehicle as well. Now we're gonna start talking about some different packages that are available. The first one to talk about is a Titanium Elite package, which we added to this particular vehicle and we had to mention some things and go around it earlier in the video. So let's kind of talk about some, some of the features included in this package. Uh, one of them is, now by the way, this, this package is, is available as optional equipment, uh, but the grill you're gonna see is an upgrade. It does have the, not only the chrome surround, but the chrome on the bars itself too. So really dresses up that grill in the front and makes it pop, makes it look so luxurious. Also, you're gonna see the upgraded wheel. So 19 inch wheel, just like with a standard wheel. But in this case, it's a luster nickel painted uh, alloy wheel. So a little bit dressier wheel, just, you know, just give them a better impactful look to the vehicle. You also notice the front skid plates. You know, a standard equipment, they are silver uh, skid plates, but they're not painted silver. They're actually the silver colors molded into the front skid plates on that standard equipment. With this one, it's more of a high gloss look to it. Uh, on the front and the back, so it's going to just be more impactful on the vehicle than it, than it would be normally uh, from your, your uh, stock standard titanium. Panoramic Vista roof is also a part of this package, so real nice glass roof up here. 
does pop open. Not only do you have a, a moonroof, but you have the power sunshade as well that opens up, so you don't have to have the moonroof open if you just want to see the sky. You can open up that sunshade as well. Uh, so that'll be included standard as part of this package. On the interior, you're going to be upgraded from the ActiveX seats to the leather trim seats. So you're going to see they're more of a two-tone look. So you're going to have your ebony bolsters and on the outside of them with that more of a gray different uh, look in here. So it's not really dune, it's more of a tan interior to that. So it's a little bit different look to it. Just like across the dash, you're going to see this change from that gray and dash and door trim to now this kind of a wood grain finish. I really like it. It's a real nice uh, finish and look to the interior. It really gives it a more of a high quality look to it. So it dresses it up and takes that titanium to the next level there with that. You also notice the steering wheel. It does have, a, it is leather wrapped just like standard equipment, but now you're gonna have that Euro style stitching and it, the color does match up with the seat color as well. So it just looks real sharp on the vehicle itself. You will have heads up display as well. The only way you can get that on the titanium, on an escape at all is with this titanium elite package. So it gives you the heads up display that pops up there right in front of the driver there. Also, you do have the wireless charging pad down in here, so you, now you can put that cell phone down in there, and this time it'll charge your phone. A um, pretty good amount of space in there, not exactly sure the exact size down there, but I have a, uh, what you're going to see in this clip is uh, I have an Android uh, Note 10 Plus, uh, so you can see you know, what size that is. It should fit most of your phones down in there. Anything that with wireless charging will fit down in there uh, real easily. Also, you're going to get dedicated floor mats to within the escape embroidering on those so they're very dedicated to the titanium trim so uh, some great equipment that goes along with this one so if you really want to take it up a notch get this titanium elite package one other package you might think about especially if you're wanting to tow a little bit uh, and I uh, probably recommend that you get the 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine for this, but it will, you can put this package on even the hybrids. Uh, so it's the class two trailer tow package. Uh, gives you that hitch, so now it's, a, it's that class two hitch. You're gonna get the four pin wiring goes along with that, and you're gonna get trailer sway control. So that kind of packages those things together. Uh, so that way you can use that to tow uh, different size trailers. They're giving you the, uh, the towing capabilities that it has right there on the screen so you can see you know, versus the hybrid versus the uh, all-wheel drive 2.0 EcoBoost engine. So if you want to tow a little bit, you want to get that trailer tow package. Now I want to start talking about some standalone options and there's a couple different ways you want to order these. Some of these you have to order from Ford as a factory uh, standalone option and some of these can be breaking down into accessories which you can get from the factory or you can get it even later after you get your vehicle. So let's talk about the factory uh, standalone options first. Uh, about four of them that are involved, a couple on the front here. One of them is that front license plate bracket. Now, if you live in a state that requires a front license plate, it's standard equipment on the vehicle. You won't have to worry about adding it. But if you're in a state like Kansas, uh, then you're gonna need to get a front license plate bracket as a standalone option. So don't charge option, don't have to worry about the cost on that, and can be installed by the dealer for free. Uh, so you can get it on the vehicle. So if you like, if you're in a state that requires only one tag, and but you want something uh, fun to put on the front, you know, make sure you get that ordered on your vehicle. Also, the engine block heater. So if you're in a cold weather state, plan on leaving your vehicle outside a lot during the winter, you might want to get that engine block heater. You can plug it in into your garage, whatever, and keep that engine uh, warm. So that way it's easier to start up in the morning. Also, you can get the mini spare. As we talked about, is a standalone option, but you can get the mini spare on the vehicle, on the escape. Uh, of course, it would go in replace of the tire and inflator kit. So you would, of course, would take that away and give you the mini spare back there. Full size spare is not an option on the escape. Panoramic Vista roof is also a standalone option. So you can get that on there. So Panoramic uh, uh, Vista roof on the vehicle. Of course, if you do get that, then you can't get the optional roof rack crossbars, which we'll talk about when we get to the accessories package. So of course, just like earlier, does have the open the, the sunshade that opens up, power sunshade, as well as the power roof that opens up on the vehicle too, and gives you that glass roof as well. So let's talk about some different accessories. And again, these can be ordered from the factory if you want to, but a lot of them can be ordered after you get their vehicle, especially if there's some supply uh, issues, especially right now. It's always encouraged, you know, by the dealer to go ahead and order it without them. So that way there's no delay on getting your vehicle. If you're just waiting on a couple of accessories, we can get through parts or through Ford accessories. And you can even put them on. A lot of people can put them on themselves if you want to or have your service department put them on for you. One of them is the splash guards. So splash guards can be put on there, especially if you live on those dirt roads and such. It'll help protect from rocks getting kicked up on the side a little bit more. Um, and uh, that way you can put those splash guards on there. Pretty nice. 
wheel locking lug nuts as well. So this is actually considered a dealer installed option that they say the dealer should install them and such. Uh, but keep in mind, and that means they send it to the dealer ahead of time. But basically it takes one of your lug nuts on each of your wheels, replaces it with a special locking lug nut uh, that has a socket that's specifically for that vehicle. So you could put those on yourself. So it's a couple different ways of, of getting those wheel locking lug nuts. In the back, you do have a cargo mat you can put in the back cargo area. All weather mat in there protects it. So especially since it's carpet back there, if you want to put something wet back there or whatever, you know it's going to get dirty. Uh, getting a cargo mat, if you use that a lot, might be a great idea. Also an easy access cargo shade. So that goes back there, you pull that so people can't see the different belongings you have. Then you can open it up, load it up, and it, and it retracts back and forth in there. So you can get a cargo shade uh, that be, it goes in there. Also all weather mats. So all weather mats can be ordered with or without the, carp the carpeted mats. Uh, so standard equipment. Now, if you get the titanium elite package, I believe it requires you to get the carpet mats with the cart and with the uh, all weather mats. Cause this particular vehicle, we ordered it with those and it came with both sets because those are those elite, um, that elite package comes with very specific mats and that are, that go along with that package. Uh, also the crossbar, so roof rack, cross bars so you can get those on the vehicle uh, it goes across there if you it will not let you order them from the factory with the crossbars and the parent vista roof so uh, if you know hey i'm only going to use the crossbars on trips to put luggage up there then uh, it's something to keep in mind probably you don't want to put too much weight on the glass roof but also too you don't you can't open that roof you can't open that parent vista roof if you have those rails up there so you could order the rails afterwards put them on yourself uh, that is a way around that just a couple things to keep in mind not to open that roof uh, if you have the crossbars on there as well as you want to watch how much weight you put on the top of that so that's probably a couple reasons why ford does not allow you to order those together so that's all of our standard equipment our different packages available standalone options even accessories all in this one video we call our complete guide for a reason i think you can see why so hopefully you got a lot of information from this video uh, and also don't forget if you want to find in, any inventory we have currently in stock you can find it on our website at lawmacarthur.com don't forget you can call or send us a text message if you have any questions whatsoever about these vehicles how to order them or if you want to get one from us don't forget we you can also get a vehicle from us one of our in-stock units or if you want to order one something special we can do free shipping for you so just mention that you saw this video on youtube so you can get the free shipping and we can ship it right to your door for free. We do ask you to finance a vehicle with us. So we're very transparent about this. Uh, it's, uh, shipping cost is not free. We want it to be free to you. So if you plan on financing the vehicle anyway, then we can do that for you. So the lenders give us enough of the kickback from sending them the finance deal, we call it back in profit, that we can use that money to pay for the shipping to ship it right to you. So very transparent about that. So we do ask you to finance it with us. If you live a little bit further away, then what it costs, uh, we do limit that at about $1,000 typically. Uh, so if it is a little bit further away, we can do a couple things. If you want to specially order something, we can have it drop shipped close to you and that will keep us within that $1,000. Uh, or if we need to have a trade or something, we can figure that shipping cost out. So we can take care of that. Uh, just give us a call, send us a text message. You know, it's great getting a vehicle ordered the way you want it to from a dealership that knows how to order vehicles and shipped right to your door. So keep that in mind. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. Don't forget to drop your comments down below. If you have any questions about product or inventory or anything, I do respond to those myself. So I read those. So drop those down in the comments down below. Uh, or you can always reach out to us. I'll take your phone call, answer any questions you have. Even if you don't purchase from us, that's something that I do uh, for all the, the people out there in the community watching these different videos. So feel free to reach out to me and, uh, and do that. Also, if you're not subscribed, if you like Ford content, you wanna learn more about the product of the different models that Ford has, then you definitely wanna check out our YouTube channel. Hit the red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed over to the channel. Hit the notification bell. You also get notified the next time I have another video upload to our YouTube channel. So, uh, check out our social media sites. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. So whatever social media you're looking at, you can see what we're doing here at the dealership, as well as different uh, cool videos that we have going out and everything else are posted on our social media sites. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from, from it. And until the next video, we'll see you later.